generates the ecstasy in you.
she was now born. Time to learn, time to watch love. Time to live and love. Time to watch. Time to learn.
Oh, my God, my heart is like... <laughs> now you feel better? Yeah, I feel better, <laughs> but I'm like, come on. It's the best crowd. Yeah, and I've never seen this, really. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? The crowd Are you was, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not really. No, 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 really, really. We've seen people like the crowd in East of France, they are crazy, but North of France, they are even more crazy. Really, it was... I must say, Leo, I, I left my heart here. I'm gonna leave my heart here. <laughs> a, a lot of people asking if you will come back in Lille, but I, I guess would love so. To. <laughs> I, you know what? I must say that one of the guys who let me, because I was so nervous today, yeah. and I was like, guys, I need a place where I can practice a little bit. Maybe you pick up some of the tracks are uh, ripped up from vinyl, so let me hear how it sounds. So the guys uh, let magazine me play. Magazine club. Yeah, magazine yes. club. It was super nice of them. Yes. Maybe I should play there. Maybe at magazine clubs, guy. Um, so yeah, thank you. I was you so so sweating. Like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was hot tonight. It was really hot. Yeah, and I wanted to take it off, but I was like, oh, okay, part of the looks. No, like. it's too beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tonight you you choose to take some risk by playing this techno set. Oh. Why did you want to do no, that? No, actually, a lot of people think I just play house music, but I play different music. It depends on where I am. But when I'm in Italy, I play techno. But uh, I try to play different thing all the time like tonight to be honest I had a circle folder but everything was pretty much techno yes. but I was like you know what I have to be a little bit me so I started to mix different things yes. you know, yes, you yes. know I, I tried yeah and a lot of people uh, asked you questions on the live stream so I will check them sorry if I, if, if I don't ask your question but you are too much uh, <laughs> too much question for uh, Peggy so really really yeah 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 did you get really. the question uh, so um, yeah, so first question from Dan. Hi Peggy, why do you like giraffes so much? <laughs> oh, come on, that's a, that's a question that you can find out like... Okay, I come love giraffes. No, 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 I love giraffes because I'm like super hyper sometimes. But giraffes make me calm down, you know? They're really peaceful. They don't eat anything alive. They don't step on anything alive. And they're so cute. They're like an antenna with purple tongue. They're so cute. <laughs> Trop mimi. Trop mi oh, you speak good French. <laughs> Trop mignon. Trop mignon. Trop mignon, yeah. <laughs> we should do this interview in, in French, right? <laughs> okay, so um, uh, I, I'm looking at all the, the other questions. Uh, question from Theophil Circle. Please ask, when is her next release? You know what? I wasn't going to tell you this, but maybe if I really be honest with you, I wanted to do something this year. But because of my touring, I didn't have so much time at the studio. Yeah. So this year was not possible. But I'm having a vocal training. I'm learning this instrument. And I'm working on something. Hopefully, hopefully it will come out next early year. My new label. You hopefully. singing? For I'm singing. I know, oh, I know, I know. I know. Nice, nice. <laughs> we have a scoop tonight. <laughs> nice. Um, and a question from Stefan. Stefan. What B2B are you dreaming of? Huh? What B2B are you dreaming of? What back-to-back -back are you dreaming of? Ooh. My dreaming B2B would be... Ricardo. Ricardo, oh. of course. <laughs> okay, okay, Ricardo, if you are hearing Ricardo, us... Ricardo, if you are hearing us, that's my dream. <laughs> um, Okay, question from Bruna, but there are a lot of questions, so I will only ask but you one. you only are getting a question from them? You no, don't ask me? No, not only. I will also okay, ask okay, you okay, some okay, questions, okay. but of course I prefer asking people. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I also like that, you know? Yeah. I like interviews, so they can ask me anything. Yeah, because since we are live, I feel it's really interesting that of people course. can ask the question. So, what would you suggest for women pursuing a career as, mudis, um, as music producer as well? What would you suggest for women uh, that want to be DJ or producer? The thing is that a lot of people ask me this and I always say the same thing. I know it might sound boring, but I always tell them, you have to believe, trust your in intuition. You know, like sometimes a lot of people decide to listen to their head and heart. You know what I mean? Like I also rushed everything and I went through bad and good time. But you know, like when, the, for example, if your track is ready, you know, in the beginning when I was making music, I was like, oh my God, I want to release something really quick. But then some people said to me, like, you will know when it's ready, you yes. know? So, and I didn't never, I never tried to listen to it. I'm like, no, I want to do something really quickly. Yeah. But that's one of the things that I can say that take your time and then listen to your 
Yeah, it sounds so cheesy, no? No, no. <laughs> you have to listen to your intuition and when you will know when it's ready and stop being yourself. Always stop be yourself. yourself. Oh. No, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No. <laughs> being yourself. Yeah. You know? Stop being afraid of yourself. Sorry, that's my, uh, sorry for my English. Oh my God, it was live streaming. It's better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> stop being afraid of being yourself. That's what I tried to say. Okay. Um, you see, I had a champagne, this is why. No, 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 that's... <laughs> but I, I had a, another question. I know that you love fashion. Do you think that fashion influences your music? The thing is, a lot of people also ask me this question, uh, but I want to want to say one thing. Me, I am... I don't want to... Sound, a lot of people said, oh, it's fashion music related, but me, I'm all about just what I like. For example, fashion is part of me. I love dressing up, I love fashion. And um, I guess you can say somehow it's connected with the taste because I really want to show different tastes, even in music. I love techno, I love house, disco, every genre. Even clothing, I'm trying to wear different styles all the time. So for me, I guess I'm, I want to show my taste. And um, yeah, I guess yeah. Uh, that's just, just Peggy Goo, you know? Like, I used to have a complex. I used to want to only, only look serious. So wearing white t-shirt, black t-shirt, just denim. But I'm like, you know what? That's not me. Yeah. Let me just be me. This is what I mean. So I want to dress up. I want to look good. You know, I guess it's just pers personal um, taste and it's just part of my personality. Yes. And I feel you are really an amazing selector. Uh, Thank you. As a DJ, do you feel that being like the selection is more important as the performance as a DJ or? for me t tonight you know why I, you know I my agent said to me I never seen you this nervous I'm like I know I'm so nervous it's because I try to play a lot of track that I never played and a lot of tracks are very it's very hard to find digital so I ripped up from some vinyls and stuff like this so I was like oh my god so tempo is gonna change all this and that but I was like you know what I'm still gonna play because I think this is good track so yes I think I you think did. I mean, I know, I know. Yeah, definitely. But, but for me, I am, I, this is my personal personal opinion, but I consider selection is way more important than the mix, mixing skill, you know? Because mixing skill, everybody can learn, you know? Yes. But I think the selection, if I have a time to learn skills, or if I have time to more dig, I would dig more. You know yeah. what I mean? That's just my personal opinion. Yeah. And your selection tonight was awesome. You sure? Yes. Thank you. Yes, I am. And people online and people here. You sure? I think oh, they, they felt the I same was, like, way. I was so nervous. No. Why, why were you nervous? Because of the cameras? Or I because think so. Like, even if it, I don't have a camera, I get nervous. Like, yeah. Some people are like, come on. But like every, every gig, it doesn't matter if it's circle. Everywhere, I'm like, oh my god, I'm feeling butterfly. Yeah. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. You know, i always feeling that. But tonight, I was like, I was like, oh my god. So, yeah, and also it's a live streaming. There are some people who are watching me who never see me, yes. or a different country, or I mean, this beautiful place as well. Yes. So, and then people, but I really want to say merci beaucoup to all these people who came yes. tonight. You know, seriously, like, I really appreciate it because, you know, our, us DJ, we are nobody without them, you know? I feel like that. You, yes. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't have the support from the crowd or if dance floor, you're nothing. Yes, exactly. So I really appreciate tonight, even though, okay, yes, I'm criti criticizing myself. I'm like, oh, I should have done that. Uh, maybe mixing was not amazing or blah, blah, blah. But what I know for sure, I will go home tonight and I'm going to be like, merci beaucoup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I was on, on the TV room control looking at other cameras and, and I felt so like the, 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 um, the set was so amazing. Yeah. I, I, I went and stop, then... Stop. Yeah, 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 really, I really. I think there are so many videos and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> But I, you know, I... I uh, no, it was amazing. Thank you. Uh, maybe just one last question from the uh, online audience. You can ask me any question. <laughs> um, so, question from Marius. Uh, in French, so what is your most, uh, like, the most crazy show you, you've played at? You know what? Not this one. I mean, it's a <laughs> crazy one, but I'm gonna say my most crazy one was India. India? Why? The, one of the, uh, the owner of the club, we had a party at the rooftop, and it was 40 degrees. 
and it was raining on the pool in the end. And the owner told me, like, you know, in India, it's not rare. It's quite rare to have a rooftop party because it's really hot. Yeah. And people came, and I was, like, really, really surprised by the crowd. And for me, that's one of the memorable gigs yes. that I ever had. Craziest gig, and also they really love party. And it doesn't matter if you play techno, disco, they, I, I feel like they appreciate music, you know? Okay. That's, that's what I think. Well, thank you so much. It was Is that amazing. No, it's you not sure? everything. We have a little tradition at Circle, and it's the mystery box. So um, here is Bruno Gervaux. He is the director of this yes, amazing it, place, yes, yes. and and he has yes, a gift for you. Oh, you have. Maybe. Live? Sorry. Is it still live. Yes, it's still live, and and here is the gift, and Love maybe he, he <laughs> and he will explain maybe the gift. Yes, it's it just a little gift on behalf of the city of Lille and of the museum, staff museum. It's just a souvenir, a blink. It's a catalog about our... Wow, our I can see it's a book. But very uh, unusual wow. catalog. One of our previous open museum, which is an invitation to an expected guest. And uh, it's a little wow. bit like you tonight. It was a German can contemporary... Okay, yes. It, it's a... Thank you so much. De rien. I mean, how amazing is this place? And it was a oh, really amazing. great, great. You have awakened in a 200 years old museum. Oh, really. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot. And thank you very much to this amazing uh, yeah, museum, Palais des Beaux Arts de Lille. Like giving me opportunity to play this beautiful place. Seriously, I was like, I, how big is that? That is crazy. Oh, uh, when I buy my house in the future, I want that in my house. <laughs> Italian designer okay. Gaetano Pecce. Yeah. Gaetano Pecce, yes. Merci Amazing beaucoup. designer. Thank you. Thank you also. Thank you for... Thank you. Uh, and thank you to our partners as well. They will come, come up on the screen. Huh? And, and we'll see you uh, someday in the next few weeks. Some next Monday. Bye-bye. Kiss.